tutorial on the rabbit foot. It's been, some people have been asking about that. So let me get lined up here. Not gonna like digging all that rock out, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I can't use my right side plate because it's gonna be up on the hill and it's gonna sink in the dirt. So I gotta use my rabbit foot sensor, which is that guy right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lower the machine closer to the ground. I'm going to push this button right here. It's going to lower my rabbit foot. So push that. Rabbit foot goes down. Now my rabbit foot is showing right here at negative 3.7 inches because it's up in the air. You can see it's not even touching the ground yet. So I'm going to push this to make that active. I've got to hold it. Now this is my rabbit foot sensor. Reading right there, negative 3.7. I'm going to make that zero. Hold this. Now that's going to cut zero and zero. The side plate is down here. It's not going to use the side plate at all. So that's this. It's going to set down zero and zero. Turn off the water to the left side because it's not going to be cutting anything. Now the plate says I'm digging four inches. The rabbit foot says I'm cutting zero. Because the side plate is sitting up here on the hillside, but that rabbit foot is sitting on the ground. So that's what I'm reading off of now. Pick the front door up slightly so it doesn't catch and dig on the shoulder. I brought the front door up so it'll skim over the top of that dike. road. Zero. The side plate's cutting five inches, it says. It doesn't matter because it's up on the hillside. See, I'm just scratching all the way across. In fact, I can bring this side up a couple of clicks so it doesn't even scratch. I'm going to wrap it, put up just a tiny bit. There, now it's not even cutting anything except for the dike over here. Make sure my front door isn't dragging on it. Nope. basically runs in line with the front track so as long as the front track is clear I don't have to worry about the rabbit foot hitting something I mean you can see I'm just scraping it taking the AC dike off because I don't want to scratch up the side of the machine. Try 
to be fancy and do it all at once. Slide around the tree. up so it doesn't catch. Now we're taking out the empty dike again. I didn't have to pick up and reset. I'm not leaving a pile behind me. Double check how far the dike comes out, make sure I don't overcut it. Quick question to make sure I don't cut too much. Good thing I asked, I was going to take it all out. I pick the machine up, the rabbit foot automatically retracts itself up. Now I'm going to switch back over to my side plate. It says out because it's out of range because it's raised up. But it's still selected the rabbit foot. So I'll put it back to my side plate. And then we're going to do a dig out. <laughs> 